Good afternoon, Steve and John. Uh, today I'll be demonstrating the remote uh, lab features of Electromate uh, by using our data logger and temperature influences uh, practical. Uh, to do this, we'll be connecting to a VNC client uh, on a remote server, which is actually located in our Perth office. Uh, this server is connected to a data logger, a data taker DT80, connected by USB. Uh, this is also has a number of thermocouples connected to it and placed in a process vessel. Uh, in this case, it's actually just a fish tank. Um, I will be controlling the program via DE logger, which I actually have currently running and has just popped, should have just popped up in front of you. Just a quick explanation, the main prog1.d80 screen here shows us how we can program and configure the data logger. In this case, we've configured the trigger rate at two seconds, so the data logger will take samples every two seconds. And we have three channels set up, one to take the internal reference temperature from the data logger to give us room temperature, and then the two K-type thermocouples one in a thermo well and one just straight in the process liquid. As you can see here, each one has listed as temperature or the type of signal that we're actually looking for, the type of connection, in this case mentioning TK for a K-type thermocouple, and also the channel at which it's wired to. Uh, each uh, signal can also be given a label just for reference purposes. As we go forward, we need to connect obviously to the data logger to send the program to it. To do this, we can hit the connections item as you can just see there, or simply press the F2 button. I've previously set up the data logger as the DT80 connection. Uh, within this, you can specify serial connection, ethernet connection, USB connection, whichever. If you just click on the connection that you want, and then simply press the OK button. I'll do that now and it'll run through its detection status screen. Once you've, the way to actually see that you've successfully connected to the data logger, um, obviously there's a number of methods. The easiest one is to check the status lights down in the bottom right corner of the data taker screen. To send the program, just simply hit the program menu and then send to connection. Uh, it will come up with a number of warning boxes, just asking, obviously, if there's a previous job defined in the data taker, if you wish to log right over it, and then it will send the uh, compiled program file to the data logger, so it will start logging. You can start the program as well if it does not run automatically by simply clicking on the green man icon, which is the run icon. As I move this screen down to the right, you should be able to see the status lights here at the bottom right, as I was mentioning earlier. The blue flashing on and off means that the data taker is actively taking samples. The green means that you are successfully connected to the data logger and moving. Okay. And to actually ensure that we are receiving data, obviously we need to check that everything is happening correctly. To do this, we can either retrieve data in a chart or text format. And here today, we'll just quickly show you the text format. If I click on the text1.dlt button, as I've just done then, it should bring up the text input screen. As you can see, I've specified the DT80 connection under the connection window, and it will automatically start pulling in the data in a textual format from the data logger for each uh, channel every two seconds. As you can see here, the internal temperature references room temperature, and there is a slight variation between the two thermocouples. Uh, this is due to the thermo well. Uh, I hope everything is okay there, gentlemen. No, thanks, Luke. That's excellent. Uh, got it so far. And how about you, Steve? Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Luke. I can understand quite uh, quickly what is going on. It's great to see a real live uh, application and on a real live bit of equipment uh, through this uh, software. That's fantastic. Luke. Thanks very much for that demonstration. Back to you. Uh, excellent. Well, thank you very much for that. 
Um, obviously, one of the other considerations you have here is that you must successfully log out of the data taker and close it down. Uh, to actually exit out of data logger and DE logger, you must close off the connection. Uh, to do this, there's two options. First, you must stop the system by pressing the red halt button as uh, the red hand on the toolbar. You can then either press and go to the connections menu and then press disconnect or simply hit F3. Um, it'll ask you again which connection you wish to exit out of. Once that's successfully done, you can close out of Electromate and then, uh, sorry, out of DE Logger and then go and do the next practical. This will also free up the uh, project, the server for the next student that wishes to do the practical. Um, as long as you exit out correctly and clean up after yourself, uh, the next student should have a great experience much as yourself. Anyway, thank you for your time and hopefully this shows you the power of using Electromeet to share remote labs with your students. Thanks.